All right, that's us going out live for some Time Machine VR. So this is my first shot of this. I've had that a wee while. Uh, press and hold the dual shot where it was control or touchpad button. Okay. So there we go, Time Machine VR. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, let's go for our options. Put subtitles on. I swear subtitles will appear. That's weird. <laughs> okay. So let's go for it. Some scary uh Crocodile sharks up there. I don't know what's happening with them. They might get involved, so let's just go for it. It's very dark. I trust you've acclimated to your pod. Good. Let's get to work then. Look up to view temporal anchor point information. 2033 CE 1147 AM Svalbard activating temporal stabilization matrix look right and scan the interface to provide visual confirmation this nice matrix activated initializing what? sensor array Look left and scan the interface to provide visual confirmation. Matrix initialized. Array initialized. Prepare for temporal relocation in three, two, one. Oh. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, time travel is neither instantaneous nor beautiful. In fact, were I to lower the shutters, you would likely be driven insane by what you saw outside. <laughs> we should use this time to review the mission briefing. Our primary research target for this excursion is the lead sixthis, colloquially referred to as Leeds Fish. As far as we know, the lead sick this was the largest bony fish to have ever lived. Fossils suggest it may have spanned upwards of 27 meters, rivaling blue whales in size. But what we're really interested in is how they fed. Unlike whales, it's hypothesized that they used specialized gill rakers to filter feed. We'll need to collect data from inside the mouth of the lead sick this to validate this theory. I hope your navigation skills are up to par. We've arrived. Welcome to the Jurassic period. Focus your view on the shutter controls. I'll lower them and we can begin. Right, that was a cool intro. I know he said they'd be driven insane if they, if they opened the shutters during time travel. I, I do want to see. Right, let's go get the weeds. Let's go check the weeds. The weeds fish mouth. Let's go for it. Move your pod forward. Wow. Whoa. Is that where we are? the pod forward. Move your pod up and down. Nice. It's quite an excellent looking game. The pod is equipped with a time dilation device. 
Put simply, we can freeze time. Give it a try. Nice. Can I ask any legs? In the game, not in real life. Freeze time. <gasps> nice. Right, where's the weeds fish? This is cool. These turtles. Tauruses. Coming to get me. Freeze time. <laughs> A group of prehistoric turtles. Their appearance is quite different from that of their modern relatives. Why don't you tag one with a probe so we can get a closer look at its physiology? According to these readings, they're Solnhofia, proto-sea turtles, if you will. Hmm, curious. They seem to prefer swimming in a tight group. Go ahead and tag three more Solnhofia with probes. Perhaps the additional information will help us interpret their behavior. Now try launching a tracker. It will detect any nearby creatures. Don't worry about contamination. The trackers are designed to degrade very quickly. What's happening with those two? Was uh, that a meeting ritual, computer? Uh, L1. What did you want me to do, computer? I wasn't. I was distracted by by that. L1. The Solnhofia are displaying signs of agitation. Perhaps. <laughs> A predator is near. A Pliosaurus is the most likely predator. Perhaps they gather here in the hopes of avoiding being eaten. Pliosaurus. The Pliosaurus is one creature you definitely don't want to antagonize. I've marked an escape path. Just in Oof. case, of course. The safety protocols recommend moving on to the next research area. As quickly as possible. Okay, I I must get away from him. It's just munching hell out of those things. What's he doing? I froze time to get away from the Pliosaurus that was munching all the turtles. Before proceeding further, let's take this opportunity to calibrate your other scanners. Open the scanner menu and look at the scan icon. R1. Oh, there's a lot of scanners here. How do you... How do you choose that? You work at it. Calibrations completed. The scanners always need calibrating <laughs> that is funny computer there it is the lead sickness it really does dwarf every other fish on record oh my magnificent. god magnificent now for the tricky part we'll need to venture into its open mouth <laughs> to scan its gill rakers careful though it will bite so we know it will bite but you're still one me float into its mouth. Yep, scan the gill rakers, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Just swim into its open mouth. Slowing the lead sick this will make this much easier. Remember your time dilation ability. I remember it, don't you worry, computer. <laughs> right, freeze time. Get in his mouth. Oh man. <laughs> Excellent navigation. Now scan the gill rakers on each side of the mouth 
before it notices us. performance. You've exceeded all our predictions. Terminating Jurassic Simulation Program. Please hold. That was really cool. Open the shutters, computer. <laughs> I want to see. You can hear me all right. I've changed the microphone. Welcome to the Mondo Museo's temporal research facility in Svalbard. I think the doctor is going to be very pleased. Oh, transmission incoming. You'll want to pay close attention to this one. So exciting. I love new beginnings. The Doctor. Welcome back to the Monda Museo International Research Mission. I'm Elisabeth Lacroix. I hope you enjoyed your first dive into history. Yeah. Now that you've proven your ability to withstand time travel, you will be stationed in Svalbard, Norway. Home to a trove of marine life that thrived as much as three... Rob? Rob? Rob, are you there? Doctor, how may we assist? It's Ali. He's called in sick again. He's probably just burnt out. We've been pushing the section leaders hard. But I still need his results. Could you take the cadet out to retrieve the data, please? Doctor, this cadet is still new. I worry that it... I know you worry, Rob. I still need you to do it. Ah, an order. Very well. Well, what an excellent opportunity to advance, Cadet. How long will it take? With the lag we'll pick up coming back, I estimate a few weeks on your end. Good. Go now. Yes, Doctor. Well, Cadet, it looks like we'll continue to work together closely. My name is Roberto, by the way. But please, call me Rob. You probably have questions. We can review Ali's, I mean, your first official mission brief, when you're ready. The pod you're controlling has been designed to withstand the stresses of temporal relocation and keep you safe from harm during your travels. Once docking is complete, the portal will transport us back to the specified time and location where it is deemed most likely that we'll find our research subject. Rob, I don't know, I'm, I'm just a cadet. Tell Elizabeth, no. Scan here. 14... Too far. A really cool game, All though. systems are now online and operational. Prepare for temporal relocation in three, two, one. Uh. Nice. Rob, I thought you said I'd go insane if you showed me what was outside the shutters. Rob. Roberto. Roberto. Computer. Oh man. Rob. Rob. Controller was rumbling quite a lot there. That was good. Time travel. 
the doctor. That is cool. Let's have a look at the assignment. Ali's primary research target was the Pliosaurus. Latin translation, more lizard. <laughs> You'll see why. The Pliosaurus is one of the top predators of its time. We need more information about how it hunts. I strongly advise a cautious approach to avoid its powerful jaws. Teleportation complete. When you're ready, focus your view on the shutter controls. I'm ready. But Rob, we, we've seen it eat about a million turtles, remember? We've seen how it hunts. It just smashes things with its enormous mouth. Rob. Roberto. Let's get started. Let's get started. Look at that water. I forgot this is what it's like when you play VR things. You just, you just look at things. Because <laughs> everything's amazing. Ali ran into trouble here. Pliosaurus thought his pod was prey. See how they patrol. Oh you must avoid detection at all costs. Those boulders in the center seem like an ideal hiding place. Make your way there to confirm. I'm gonna stop time. While the Pliosaurus is happening. Because he's up there. He's got his mouth wide open and that ready to attack. So we just ignore the more lizard, eh? Big Pliosaurus, why is he looking directly at me? Find safe area. I'm working on it. How long do you get to freeze time for? As long as you want. How did Ali get in trouble, Rob? I'm nervous. Good. Now we can continue our research without fear of attack. Tag the more aggressive one, so we can get a better idea of what we're dealing with here. Where's the more aggressive one? I'm up there. How do you change the thing again? Mastery creature. Hypothesis confirmed. It's definitely a Pliosaurus. Hmm, it is strange that two Pliosauruses would choose to stay in such close proximity to each other. Most apex predators are notoriously territorial. Is it possible they share a hunting ground? Tag the other and see. Does that know the other? One of the Pliosauruses is male, and the other is female. Perhaps we've found the mating pair. If so, I would expect them to be on the hunt for additional food. One theory suggests they use their eyes as their primary method of tracking prey. An eye scan would seem like a logical place to begin our investigation. What you wanted? You want me to scan its eye, Rob? Too far away for it, yeah. Where was the other one? The other one got pretty close. Ah, you up there. Probably be best to get you. This is quite intense, actually. I mean, if you didn't have the stop time thing, it would be unbelievably scary. Right, let's try and get this guy's eye when he comes back round. We'll freeze time when he. What's that? Change to that. Damn it. Was it R1 and then. Okay. Where is it? You don't get infinite time stop. 
Why is it making scary noises? Too far. Oh, my God. Yep, come on, get his eyes scanned, please. I'm not too far, I'm right, right next to it. Oh, my God. Look at that thing. Ah, the theory appears to be well founded. The eye of the Pliosaurus is highly developed though they would perform poorly in low light situations. Let's do our best to remain out of sight. Let's yes. examine the anatomy of the female Pliosaurus. If they are a mating pair, I'd expect her to be carrying several eggs. I have unlocked a new tool for the purpose, the echography scan. It will let us see a creature's internal systems in detail. Use your echography scan to gain some insight. Echography scan. Right, we're waiting for the Pliosaurus eggs. Right, got the echography scan. Uh, now, what one is Lady Pliosaurus? To see the eggs. Where are. Oh, is it you? Is it you? I don't think it is you, is it? Let's be the other one. Let's get back in here, we safe bit. <laughs> for the big massive. For big mouth strikes again, eh? Right, this maths. Right. Okay, it's not you, it can't be you. Get your friend. Oh, maybe. Maybe an easier way to get to them. Where is your friend? There's the big guy. That's not the one we want. I can't even find the other one. I'm too not brave to. Must be the other one because this one's not okay. Okay, that one's seen me, so let's forget about that. That is the other one. I've got 
find it. Right, let's let this thing charge back. Let's go for it. Is that it? Have I done it? Extraordinary. The Pliosaurus is carrying a fetus, which means they give live birth. The doctor will want to see this. The pair is no doubt here hunting the smaller creatures I've detected below. Let's head down to see what creatures the Pliosauruses find so appetizing. Tag three, so that we can identify them with certainty. Wait. They find the turtles unbelievably appetizing, Rob. Just remember last time. Is it these ones? Do they find these ones appetizing? These guys. Rob. Went behind that, hasn't he? Try and catch you. Oh, okay. Didn't see you there. Don't come down here. I'm no appetizing. I'm no appetizing. They are ophthalmosauruses. They seem to navigate quite easily, despite being so far down. Scan an ophthalmosaurus's eyes. Perhaps they are well adapted to see in dim light. Right, I need to scan one of your eyes. Oh, wrong button. Uh, where's the eye scanner? I see him. Right, I need to scan your eye. Look at your teeth. You big horror. According to my database, they have one of the largest eyes of any creature proportionally. And each eye contains a set of bones, the sclerotic ring. If we can determine how deep they can dive, it will give us a good idea of whether the bones are used to help maintain the shape of their eyes or serve some other purpose. An echography scan of its lungs should give us a sense of how low they can go. I need to scan your lungs right now. According to my calculations, they should be capable of dives of over 20 minutes at depths of 500 meters due to the pressure at those depths. Deformation of the eye would be of great concern. The sclerotic ring must guard against it. Are the pliosauruses really hunting the ophthalmosauruses? They seem unwilling to descend to this depth. Tag an ophthalmosaurus with a probe. To force it to surface. <laughs> All right. What one's that again? That's this. So, how much do you get paid on this job? Time travel and more wizards and Thomasauruses and Pliosauruses. I don't know. Get it. Let's try and get the ones that appear over here. Excellent. Oh, I've temporarily modified the probe to allow it to gather metabolic information from within the Pliosaurus. We're lucky. The probe was not crushed when the Pliosaurus ate the Ophthalmosaurus. 
we may gather valuable metabolic data from the pliosaurus. Use an echography scan on the pliosaurus to locate the probe. I'll download what it recorded. Right, let's go, 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 go. And I've got loads of time here and there's two of them. Go, 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 go. Come on. You eat, you eat the thing. So I need to, don't open your mouth like that. That's really scary. No, I had it, I had it. Come on. I seen it. It was in your belly. Come on. Nah, I'm gonna have to go back down. Oh my god. Right, we'll try again in a minute. Where was my hidey hole? Is that it there? See, the blue circle must be how much, how long you can stop time for. So, just. Alright, because he well seen me. Pretty intense. I should wait until it's as close as it as it's gonna get. Where are you? Should I use the L1 thing maybe? Do a wee scan, a wee quick scan. Where's the monsters? There's one. Sorry, smashing my time travel machine off the ancient rocks, that's good. Oh, what are you doing over there? Come on! Come back over here. Right, and we're going to stop time. Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Just need to scan your belly, it's alright, close your mouth. Close your mouth. Just need a wee scan of your belly, that's all. Come on. There it is. The new data tells us Pliosaurus has a high metabolism and maintains a core temperature higher than that of the surrounding water. This area is fascinating. But the data we've gathered must be uploaded and analyzed. Please scan the portal to initiate the transport sequence. Got a trophy there. Right, it's time to scan the portal to initiate the transport sequence, obviously. That is good though. I like being able to swim that close to the Pliosaurus. That's not the right scan, is it? It's this one. Too far. Let's upload this data. All systems are now online and operational. Prepare for temporal relocation in three, two, one. Is the Pliosaurus going to make it this? Huh? When only this starts happening. really effective that that effect this is an interesting game time machine VR Pliosaurus eh? the more lizard nice oh, oh dear oh dear there seems to be an ever so slight problem and no need to panic. A minor glitch, I'm sure. I'll just reboot this. Rob. Rob. Rob, what's happening? Rob. 
Can I fit through here, Rob? Scary. Welcome back to Svalbard. I can't wait to upload your data on Pliosaurus and Ophthalmosaurus. Rob, are you there? Yes, apologies, Doctor. That that thing disrupted communications. Yes, it looks like Stonehenge. I'll analyze the logs. Thank you. I wish we had more time to spend on this. But I'm afraid our worst hypotheses are catching up with us. Rob, I have to issue a code 12. Very risky, Doctor. I'm aware. Do you have the visual? Cadet. When we built this station, four samples revealed something terrible. An ancient virus, perhaps millions of years old, trapped beneath the ice. With global temperature rising and ice receding, we knew it could spread. And well. Doctor, Ali tested positive, didn't he? Yes. So we need to ramp up our search for a cure. Cadet, we've been collecting data from the past to understand what effect the virus had on prehistoric host and what to expect if anyone contracts it now. This is what the data you've been scanning is for. Yes. And we need you even more now. We have to develop a cure before the worst comes to pass. We need a breakthrough. If we just had a little more time to train, it would... <laughs> and risk more infections? If this virus spreads, no. Train on the job. We need as much data as we can get, and quickly. Yes, Doctor. You should familiarize yourself with the Dynodex. It's where we save all the data we gather. You can also peruse the Dynodex to learn more about the creatures that we've encountered. The Dynodex. How is that the what is how many people were infected with the, the virus? Three hundred and sixty five. That number keeps going up. Right. So Go, I'll go down here. <laughs> Where is the Dino Dex? How do, I, how do I look at the Dino Dex? Let's try all the other buttons. Touchpads for reset and view. How do you look at the Dino Dex, uh, Rob? I've, I've pushed all the buttons. That is cool, that's the freeze time button that you... I also You're imagine. going to need to get up to speed quickly now. The Dynodex can help with that. It's where we save all our research and the data we collect. It can help you learn more about the creatures we've encountered. Just <laughs> line yourself up with a pod hologram to attach to the structure. Is this the Dynodex? Rob, can you hear me? Too far. Hey. Nice. So, look at all of these. Oh, I can't wait to see what type of horrifying creatures it's going to show me next. 
so let's have a wee look at the Ophthalmosaurus. Your big uh, skeleton guy. Look at that. Your big bony eyes. Feeding. Their massive eyes, 9 inches in diameter, allowed them to easily navigate in the darkness. Your massive eyes? About your brain. Anatomy. Impressive lung capacity allowed them to dive to 500 metres for over 20 minutes at a time. You into that, eh? Diving, diving 500 metres down to avoid the, uh, the other guy. 20 foot? Right, Pliosaurus. Let's find out a wee bit about you. 43 foot. 33 tons. Whoa! Were you facing that direction a minute ago, Pliosaurus? You're yeah, a scary, scary thing. So let's click on this. What's this saying? Give live birth at sea to individual pups. Metabolism with a body temperature, 10 degrees above the surroundings. Highway visual predator, required adequate light to see prey effectively. That's when you looked at. Right, that number keeps going up while I'm learning about. Where were we? Oh yes, your next assignment is more than ready. Feel free, though, to take a moment to rest before heading out again. Aye, that's a good idea, Rob. You're right. You're right. I'll take, I'll take a moment to uh, to rest before heading out again. I think you're right. But I'll head over to it. It's a really, really cool game. And it's not, uh, it's not too bad. Not had any nausea or motion sickness because it feels like I'm in a, a wee machine. And you can't go super fast. It's not too bad. So what I'll do is I'll stop here and then we'll kick off the next part from right here as the infected toll uh, rises. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hopefully you've been able to hear us okay. I want to double check that before I jump back in as well. But this was Time Machine VR. Thanks again, and I'll hopefully see you again soon for some more. Bye. Bye.